here's the main thing that I want you to remember when you're ledge fishing. And, I, and I'll go back to growing up in New Jersey. Most of the lakes in New Jersey and South Jersey where Pete and I grew up, the maximum depth in most of those lakes are six, eight feet, eight to 10 foot. That's the deepest water in the lake. And a lot of the ledges we fish in South Jersey go from like eh, about two, two feet to maybe three and a half or four foot in the middle of the creek. That's a ledge, right? So a ledge is the main thing I want your mind to get thinking about when you think about a ledge is it, a lot of times in Oklahoma, in Texas, at Table Rock, or on Kentucky Lake, a ledge is more severe, right? 10 to 20, you know? If you're in California, in a West Coast fishery, those ledges could be 40 foot to 100 foot drop. Or if you're in New Jersey, the home of shopping carts and dead bodies, a lot of times those ledges are real subtle. So let, let, I want to think about, keep, keep that in your mind, right? We're not always talking about a ledge being this classic big plummet. The main thing I want to get your mind thinking is that it is a depth change. It's a contour break that drops, right? And the other thing is ledges aren't always just created by creek channels and rivers. Thank you. I appreciate that. Not even past the first page yet. Um, those drops aren't always created by old creeks and rivers. And a lot of times they are, right? It's the main river channel that flows through a reservoir. It's a creek channel that flows out of the back of a pocket. But, but there are other things too. There, there are run-ins or drains. There are drop, natural drop-offs on natural lakes. There are bluffs, underwater bluffs. In Florida, what's a, what's a ledge in Florida? Look at that creek channel that comes by, and everybody that's fishing ledges is looking at that main river arm coming down and the flats and drops associated with that. But look at this little, look at this ditch that comes in. This is just an old drain that comes out of this little pocket arm. But look at it on, look at it on side imaging. Look at that. I mean, look how defined you could see that little side drain. And I want to start getting you guys to think in terms of looking at the, the little less unobvious, not just the obvious, right? So you get the vast majority of the thousand dudes out there graphing that are looking at this, but you get a little side ditch, can also attract a lot of fish. All right, go to the next slide, Bill. Every ledge that we fish, every one, whether it's that two to four foot drop in New Jersey, or it's the 12 to 20 foot drop on Kentucky Lake, they all, they're all going to have what's called a sweet spot. How many people in their lifetime have found a sweet spot before? I'm marking it, okay? Any piece of change. And of course, when I see an area with big arcs, I'm putting a mark on it too. But I'm going to go down that whole two mile stretch of ledge and mark all those different places first. I'm not gonna find that first place, stop, fish it, go to this. I'm gonna mark them all. And then I'm gonna turn that boat back around and get to my second part, okay? That first part is most critical because you're eliminating 75 to 80% of that ledge. You're, 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 you're eliminating all that unproductive area and you're focusing in on areas of change or, of course, areas where you see fish. And then this next part kicks in, the second part, which is now, now I'm going to go back and actually start to make some casts on this thing. How many of you have found, I just want to show hands because I, I, I want to stress why this is so important. How many of you have found a spot off the bank on a ledge where you didn't see any fish on it at all. You graphed it, you, you, you thought you didn't see a single fish on it, but it had a cool little thing on it, and you're like, I need to go back and fish it. And you go back and you smash them. How many people have done that? It's weird, right? It's happened to me too many times to not, to not do this two-part system. And this is why actually using your bait now 
is the second part to this system. So we used our underwater eyes to find those areas of change, and then I'm going to go back and fish them with three styles of lures. And these are three lures that I call, these are what I call transmission baits. And I'm gonna, I'll, let, me, let me get the other two out here real quick and I'll, we'll talk about them. I might not have the other one. And here they go. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.